the hip is one of the body's largest joints. The most common cause of chronic hip pain and disability is arthritis. But when is it time for hip replacement surgery? We went to Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center and spoke to orthopedic surgeon Dr. Harar Basmajian. He explains the term total hip replacement. A total hip would mean replacing all the parts. And so there's a part that's part of the femur, the thigh bone, and we call that the ball side. So that's got a ball on it and the hip's a, a ball and socket joint. And so the socket is on the other side. And so when you replace both sides, the ball and the socket, call that a total hip as opposed to doing a partial hip replacement where we'll only change the ball side. You know, that, that decision's really based on activity. And so what we're trying to do is restore patients' function and try to restore them back to where they were before, whether it's arthritis that set in, before they have got this joint pain, before they got this fracture, whether it's for a fracture. Um, our goal is to make them as good as they were and hopefully sometimes even better than they were. If we can take away the pain and give them a pain-free hip, if this is the, the thing that's been limiting this patient, limiting them from doing the things that they want to do, going the places they want to go, then yeah, this is a chance to give them their function back, give them their quality of life back, and give them happiness back. Dr. Basmajian talks about the total hip replacement procedure. It's developed very eloquently into a very beautiful procedure, and it's done Nowadays, you know, 45 minutes to an hour and a half, somewhere in there. And, you know, it's done through very small, minimally invasive approaches. For example, you know, I perform this through an anterior approach, meaning so we go through the front of the hip. And what's nice about that approach is that there's really no muscle you need to cut. You just sort of open up, and if you know where you're going, all of a sudden you're right there staring right at the hip. And it's not very deep and in. It's not very, you know, it's not behind all these bloody muscles and these... Uh, all these other, uh, you know, structures you don't want to cut. It's just sitting right there, and we make a nice open incision to it, and then, you know, we we cut out the diseased bone and, you know, put in nice metal and plastic. And the beautiful thing about it is that the second it's done, the the, the old disease is gone, and it's not one of these things where you have to wait and see. I mean, it's almost like instant gratification. You know, you you get it done, and the and the patient's previous pain is gone. And they have some surgical pain when they wake up, but our patients are walking an hour after surgery, walking a couple hundred feet. Um, we're still keeping them the first night, but I would say about an, almost all of our patients are going home the next day. Going home and not to a rehab for two weeks like they used to do, and not be bed bound for a few weeks. I mean, these people are you know, using a walker, going upstairs, uh, going to the restroom, showering normally. And most of the patients are actually doing it with very minimal pain medicine too. How successful is a total hip replacement? I mean, I would say it's a total hip replacement is probably, I think last time I looked at it, it, was one of the most successful operations that we do in medicine. The effects of the quality of life that it does and the success rate that it does, it's one of the best. But of course, as all surgeons do, we're always trying to improve it and always trying to make it even better than what it is.